This is great. I really hope that they have, like, all the Pikmin types in this game. <laughs> I don't know if they will. I think there's only, like, one. Or maybe? I don't know. One type that they haven't confirmed. I, but I, but this part, I, no, I can't remember. I remember they confirmed one of them from Pikmin 3, but I can't remember if they confirmed the ones from Pikmin 2. Uh, what's the problem? Oh, I see. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. So did I leave some of the other Pikmin behind? Yeah, there are limits to how many types of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any one time. But don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Any remaining Pikmin will go back to the Onion with the SS Beagle. So what happened? Oh, so it's just telling me I can't have them all out at once. Okay, that's fine. I was panicking there for a six second, but no, it's fine. They just left. There's so many types of Pikmin. Why do I hear breathing? I can hear like wind and it's concerning. Need to reorganize your squad? No. First disband in the action menu. And then you can recollect stuff. I don't need to do that though. Thanks for the offer, but I'm good. There's so many like hints and stuff, tutorial stuff. Also, it looks like there's just renewable materials around. Apparently. But now that we have yellow Pikmin, we, we can actually reach some stuff on ledges that we couldn't reach before. Because they can, can get thrown higher. There we go. That man's complete, and there's no extra Pikmin left. That's good. So there's just 10 pieces in that. Good to keep in mind. Uh, what was the other thing I needed? The watch and the other thing. Probably. Let's just head up this way. Oh, right, the onion. Yeah, we definitely want to get that, because then we can have more Pikmin out. Unfortunately, we're going to need to go get some more yellow Pikmin. Although, I think I can also swap which Pikmin are on this. Probably. And that's probably ideal. There we go. Yeah, that is very ideal. Uh, let me see if I can reach this and pull this down. Hang on. Also, we can demolish that? Interesting. Have I just not realized I could do this? Probably. I'll let them do that. We've got half of the day left. Although the, the, the time meter is not exactly... Oh, I guess it is precise, because when the thing hits the end, it's going to be the end. That goes by so fast. Look at it, you can see it moving so quickly. Okay. Oh! I don't know if we can hold up much longer. <laughs> we can take out ten more Pikmin now. This should speed up our search. Let's pull them out so they don't... grow. <laughs> you know what I mean. Just to make sure that they're not gonna grow on the ground. I mean, that is good if you leave them on the ground, they should grow flowers, but also... I'm just gonna take them for the moment. Um... There's a few things around. We can't get that yet because we need to get up there first. We can actually build that bridge across. We can actually do a whole bunch of stuff. What is going on? Although I don't know if we can reproduce Pikmin unless we have that Pikmin type. Although if we give it to o like stuff to Ochi maybe, then maybe we can get some extra stuff. Oh, I forgot about that up there. We have to get that as well. Sometime soon. I might actually try doing that now. Where's Ochi? Oh, Ochi's up in the thing. Never mind then. I'll just do all other stuff first. Don't get stuck. I was- I thought that wouldn't happen, but I guess it will. In a few places, so I still need to be careful. You can't just do everything... ...that I thought I could. Okay, let's fix your materials. Ochi. Let's figure out what's up here. There's a treasure. There's also a cave here. Oh, there's so much stuff we can do, actually. Oh, you need a lot of people for that. So I probably want to push that. Just so we can get that through. Another cave. We can build bridges. We can destroy the electric gate. Paper bag lowered. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So there's that. 
I still don't have that watch thing down there. I feel like I have to knock it off the wall. Where's Ochi? <laughs> also, that's bad. Oh, ah. Freeze. Got him. Okay, we're good. That was concerning there. I'm going to try and build that. Might also get what I was left of these. Just because I can. I really don't know what happened to Ochi. To be honest. Something over there. There's a lot of stuff in this one air opening area. There's Ochi. Probably grabbed a stone or something. There's something buried up there. Literally so much stuff. Let's ride. Can probably jump up this ledge as well. Because I think it wants me to knock at this wall. To knock this thing down. There it is. There we go. Check out your surroundings with the thing. I know, I understand. I know what I'm doing. I'd like to go get that other treasure, but I also want to try and get this gate down. Which might take some time. We haven't learned how to use the spicy spray yet. But that would probably help us get through this gate, but not at the moment, sadly. Okay. Charge that with just the yellows. That is so helpful. They really thought through all of this. In the best way possible. I really hope the demo doesn't end when I get this last thing back. Because there's so much more I want to do. So much more I want to see and play. We have several dungeons left, so... Hopefully this is not the end. But I can understand if it is, because they probably don't need to go too far into this. There we go. You did it! Really great job, Ochi and Blue Toad. With all the energy you've collected, we can continue our restoration of the SS Shepherd's radar. Well, it hasn't ended yet, but we it might end. <laughs> Still. Don't have any yellows out, sadly. Electric gate demolished. Just gonna bring those parts back. That's probably fine. I was pushing that Pikmin back, that's probably not helpful. Let's see what's up here. Hopefully no borrowing snaggerets. Because if there's a borrowing snagger, I'm out of here. Basically. Let me ride, actually. Riding is probably an ideal way of getting around. Uh, what is that guy? Like, I don't mean to be rude, but what is that guy? That's a captain person thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello, Yellow Onion. That's good. Let's get that back. Before nightfall, please. Oh, do we need to... Oh, we need to throw on top of it. This is a... A squash bag. We have to squash the bag. Bag flattened. There it is, though. Heh <laughs> I wonder if this demo actually has stuff in the right order. Or if this is just, you can get it in whatever order or something. Or maybe, each area of the game you have to get different things, maybe. I don't know, you might have to get have multiple onions for different areas of the world. Possibly. Look at that, another onion. This one's different. In, uh... This one's a different color from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? Well, let's find out. So let's get that back. That's going to be super helpful. Uh, let me also break these. Oh, hey, some buttons. I'll grab those. Nice Pikmin have it. Yeah, that, that guy's concerning. <laughs> also, this bulb bulb up there. How much area is there to explore? Oh, hello. I mean, you're not terrible, but also, whoa, there's another thing there. Like a whole other area. I mean, that'd be good to get, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. How about if I get the shortcut over here, carefully. That thing, if we land on it, though, will give us, um, I believe, some nectar. Or not. It's just another enemy. It'll give us pellets, though, apparently. Pellet posy pellets. There's an item up there. Uh, what was I trying to do? I was going to get the... The rocks. The materials. But also, I think we're about to get the thing back. 
probably. Oh my goodness, it ate it. <laughs> it ate it. Where's the thing gone? Where's the yellow onion? Oh, it's still there. I don't have enough pigment for it. Oh boy. Mistakes have been made. Also, I don't think they're taking the shortcut that I set up. I should have actually got that extra other camp. But I also want to get that camp once I have the yellow onion. Oh, I need to hurry up. And I need to get more Pikmin. This is not going to work. I don't think I'm going to get the other things I need. I don't know if I'm going to get the yellow onion back in time. At the very least. But I might get those raw materials back, maybe? I think they should be fine. If I could freeze those enemies, maybe I could get them, but I don't know. Oh, I really didn't pay attention to how much it needed. I thought it needed 10. Come on. Please help out. Just make it go by faster. Time's running out. There's so much extra area to explore still. Hurry, 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 hurry. 31 out in the field. Oh, they're still working on that. Well, they finished that, maybe. I need to go get those. These ones should be fine, I think, hopefully. The timer does go down fairly slowish. Oh, please. Please don't let me lose all of this. Six. Five. Okay, we're good. Oh, that's the closest they've been so far. And we got the yellow on your back. Huh. Oh no, that's fine. I thought I was just going to overwrite it. But there we go. Half yellow, half red. But now we can actually produce yellow Pikmin. It sucked up the other onion. That was unexpected. You don't think it's going to be a problem, do you? Ah, it's probably fine as long as it doesn't absorb our ship. <laughs> Unbelievable. The onion's fused. And now there's just one with two colors. Wait, do you think it will be able to produce Pikmin of both types now? I think it will. And now I think we're not going to lose our Pikmin that we're running around. Phew, I really cut that way too close. Hello, Papa. Also, there's a thing underneath that thing I didn't even notice. There's a dirt mound. Well, there we go. That's a good sign. We can search further now though, so that's good. This will expand our range and help us pick out up distant SOS signals. Let's give it a spin. Almost done. Huzzah! We've detected multiple SOS signals. I hope this gets us closer to finding our missing officers and Captain Olimar. Make a record of that area right away, Colin. Got another person. Rescued. Sparklium. Got a decent amount. Also, I can check the few names I haven't checked. Possibly. Although I might have missed some on the previous day, possibly. Because I wasn't paying attention to the ones I got on the surface. Oh! Great adventure, adventure series. What is this star-shaped metal? Rust tinkered with an appraisal AI. Now you'll be able to see when you've collected all the treasures in a series. Oh, I see. 
Interesting. Kihi, there's no, there's a re uh, resonance in the wave patterns for treasures of the same type that lets us extract even more sparklium. Oh, interesting. So if you get a whole series, it gives you more. Can't say that I get the science behind it, but it sounds like we should try to collect complete series. It's like real life. Okay, let me look at the ones I haven't looked at yet. Hopefully. Sunseed bearing, of course. Aspiration Ritual Ball. Double Dragon Eyed Scope. Temporal Mechanism. And a perf uh, perf perforated. Per perforated raft. I can't say that word. Perforate perforated. Is that how to say that? I don't know. We've got two of those, though. I don't know if I've missed any of the names. I hope not. But there we go. We have two onions now. And three types of Pikmin. We're at 30% of the progress for this area. That's crazy. There's still so much left to do in this one area. I'm still shocked that Captain Olimar isn't the only castaway on this planet. Well, Olimar's SOS signal was transmitted across the, ent the entirety of outer space. So it's not completely unexpected that the message would capture the attention of adventure-seeking seekers and draw them here. And as the rescue corps, now it's our duty to rescue every last one of them. I love the enthusiasm. Of course, the more rescues we make, the more crowded the rescue command post will get. Colin, I need you to further develop and expand the rescue command post. Copy that, Captain. Melissa's job duties keeps just keeps getting longer and longer. You've completed, completed the demo. You can import completed save data into the full version of the game. Receive a, a bonus gift there. A bonus gift in the thing, okay. So since we've completed the demo, we can send this information to our Nintendo account. And we can follow these links here to actually get a cosmetic item for Pikmin Bloom. It's, it's a little bit complicated to do, but you have to follow the QR code and stuff links, because that's what works best, I've found. There was nothing else direct to it, so... You've reached the end of this demo. You can enjoy the rest of the adventure in the full version. So it seems like we can actually explore the rest of it, possibly, until we actually get the full game, sadly. Or maybe I can continue. When is this from? Day 4? I mean, that should be continuing. Rescue Mission Day 4. I just want to get everything else I can get possible. Even if there's other stuff I'd like to... Other, other stuff I could be doing. I just want to complete some stuff. That I, like, everything I can. I'm enjoying this too much to like, stop this now, basically. <laughs> if there is more I can do, I'll do it. I've no doubt the gear and items were created were down to yet. Let's visit the lab. Maki. Survey drone. As you explore your surroundings from every vantage point, is a drone to scout an area. Treasure gauge. From, like, same as work as where Prickman 2, probably. Detects treasure and castaways nearby. No need to rely on your natural instincts to guide you now. So if that, if we get close to something, you'll go up the bar, basically. The closer we are to it. Ah, uh, but it might be good to get those. Pick, pick, carrot, which we can use as a distraction to bait enemies. Uh, an ice blast, which is, looks like a rock we can throw that'll explode on enemies to freeze them. You can freeze creatures in water immediately. Cool. Well, I don't think I need to worry about that. We also get a prototype for free, so. The more you feed to the creatures, the, the longer they'll stay out of the way. Hello, hello. Saps heat from surroundings areas instantly freezes everything you buy. Okay. Well, let me get the survey drone and treasure gauge, because those are going to be helpful. Once we have the treasure gauge, it should help us also make sure we know what we have on every floor. Bye. Much easier, probably. There's also the new guy here. They can go say hello to. And I guess I could also pull out my yellows. 
because I can actually farm some while we're here. And if we hit the pellet posies at the right time, they'll also be yellow as well, because they switch between red and yellow currently. As we get more, I believe they'll also keep switching, probably. Or maybe they just switch whatever type we have active. Maybe. That might be really helpful, so you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, we're definitely going to want some more yellows. So let's get some more. So we don't accidentally have run out of yellows and have a pigment extinction. Although I think if we have an extinction, we could possibly also use uh, Ochi, possibly, to get it back to the onion. Possibly. I haven't tested this, but I... I mean, it's possible. So... It's believable enough. That you might expect it to work. Gonna pick all those. Now we have 27 yellows. Very nice. Treasure catalog. Thank you so much for rescuing me the other day. I confess, I'm really quite flustered. I only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Not getting stuck here was getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Oh, my apologies. I'm <laughs> snores. Snores. I don't know. A noted appraiser of treasures, I often compile my findings in a little vlog for posterity, for posterity's sake. A few treasures, so we can actually see what we have. Ah, you're interested in treasure, are you? I'd love for you to take a gander at my pride and joy, my treasure catalog. Alas, I lost all my data while I was well lost myself. Lost myself. If you don't mind, would you allow me to appraise any treasures you happen to collect? If you do, I shall compile the treasure data into a neatly edited treasure catalog. Of course, I'll offer you a reward for doing me this favor. All I require is that you keep me posted when you find something. Collect 50 treasures. So that's a goal we have now. Well, so what was this? Less a mock bottom like it was in previous games. I thought I read that. Maybe I read that already. Also, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So much stuff. Maybe I did read all those already. Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway. Do drop by any time you'd like to uh, pursue the treasure catalog. Peruse? Peruse. I'm right. I'm wrong. That one. I know what I'm saying. When you've completed your training and mastered all of the skills, I'm certain you'll see things in a whole new light. Okay, we have one extra upgrade that we can get. Oh no. Ah, learning buff. Uh, strength makes him better at physical tasks. Oh, learn buff. Right. Uh, maybe I want to get that, or maybe I want to hold on a bit more. Possibly. What was the learn command? Part 3. Gather Pikmin. Right, that might be helpful. Command. Gather Pikmin. So maybe we'll find the ones that are out by themselves. Which might be helpful at the end of the day. So am I going to hold on to that for the moment? Oh, I think with that we're probably ready to go. I don't think there's anything else here we can do. Picking up some signals that may be coming from other castaways in the most recently discovered area. There could be a stranded rescue officer out there. We're counting on you to rescue them. Preferably very soon. Well, I don't think I'm going there, so... Because I don't think that's in the demo. I'd be impressed if it was, but I don't think it will be. It does say we can go there. So why did the demo end early then? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Maybe it's just recommended to come back to it or something. When the full game releases. Oh no, it doesn't let us go. Ah, That was me going back to the early area as well, so... Oh well. So that is, that is the end then.
But yeah, I'll probably come back to this when this game comes out. I don't know when exactly I'm gonna, like, play it for YouTube. Let me know if you want to see me play it blind, like I've been playing this. Because I'm really enjoying it, so... Let me know and I'll see what I can do. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Before I finish up, there's a few more things I want to go over. The first one being co-op mode, which is not... It's not multiplayer. It's the ability for a second pair of controllers, or second controller, to basically point at the screen and shoot rocks. I mean, it could be helpful, but the play first player's probably going to be running around too much for it to be that helpful. But you can break things, you can hit enemies. One thing that could be helpful for is you can you can throw items, of course, which you could probably do on your own. But also you can possibly use it to get through things you're not supposed to get through. Possibly. Although you still have to waste a lot of time on it, just looking at it, basically. And hope that player one's focused on it. But yeah, the, it's, there's not much to it, and you can see there's a little bar that builds up over time, and that will give you more items. But really, it's not going to be as helpful as just playing normally. You can see you can use pick pick carrots to also stun enemies when they eat them. It's not just when they, like it's not just to distract them for a bit. They actually get stunned when they eat like eat them. So, but again, you can probably do that without multiplayer. It's probably just best do, do, doing this by yourself, honestly, to just abuse the co-op mode. I really hope that when the full game is released, they do have a full multiplayer though. Which they might. Hopefully. I need to make sure that they know we want it. But anyway, we can also go to the end of the day as soon as we want to, anytime. It kind of is a waste of time and energy we could be spending. But if it's like close enough to count down and you're not doing anything anyway, it might be helpful as well. Uh, also, there's no uh, go back a day feature, but there is a rewind time feature, but we can't use it in our base. We have to use it on the day that we are still living, so we can actually go back to the beginning of the day if we want to, but that's all we can really do with it. We can't actually go back to a previous day and like redo it better. We can only redo the day we're currently doing. We do it the first time and we don't do it at all, basically. And also, on the map, you can place some markers, which also allow you to press go here with A, and your captain will automatically run to that location. I don't know how precise this is, but it's probably going to be helpful later on, so. But yeah, that's everything, so. Thank you all for watching. Again, I'll see you all next time.